We're going to be building tonight's kit. So if you have tonight's kit or the napkins from this month, you're going to want to grab them. And this month is the 8 by 15 inch galvanized sign. I'm going to take everything out here. Hey, I see someone has joined us. Okay, good. You can find me. You never know if this stuff is going to work half the time. I had it all set up. Like, hey, Cindy, I had it all set up like an hour ago. Got everything set up. Everything was working. I came in here like five minutes ago to turn it all on, and it wouldn't go live. Like, nothing was working. So I had to frantically, like, reset everything up, and here we are. Um, but we made it, and we're live. We've got people joining us. We're going to plus out this kit tonight. I'm super excited about this galvanized sign. And I've been going back and forth about what I'm going to be making with it. But and I think I landed. I think I landed on what I'm going to do. So some things that we have. Oh, my gosh. i got to go under and plug in my blue gun, blue gun real quick. Hold on. All right. We're back in business. So I think it was Cindy that suggested the uh, cordless glue gun. I got all excited. I went on Amazon. I ordered it. I got it here and I take it out of the package and it has a cord and I'm thinking, well, maybe the cord like unplugs. <laughs> no, I completely ordered the wrong glue gun. So I had to reorder the cordless glue gun and it's actually here today, but I didn't have time to go get it at my post office box. So I'm going to be using the corded one tonight, but it'll be fine. I'll just probably knock it over a couple times and everything will be great. Hey, Vince, you're able to join us. I hope you are feeling better. Um, I did ship you that missing item. I think I hope you saw it. I shipped you that that thing, the, the rice paper that didn't make your kit, and we sent it priority. So it said two days. So I'm hoping you get it Monday, Liz, because I know you were working on projects for Easter. So I'm so sorry about that. We have two new girls in training right now. In addition to Lish, I hired Lish a few weeks ago for shipping, and I have two additional girls in training uh, to help ship and build the kits. So a lot of training going on. So we are having a, a few hiccups, um, but it'll be, it'll be okay. I am just looking at this. I never looked at the back of it, you guys. You can take this off like a frame. Like this whole galvanized piece comes off. How cool is that? So if you wanted to do something to the entire thing, you can actually take this whole piece off. I'm going to try and get my little fingers underneath there. Okay, this frame is even cooler than I thought. I have some extras of these. So I am going to be having some fun, I will tell you, right now. This will not be the only sign that I do because I did not realize that when I bought these. This whole piece comes out. Look at that. You can take it out and just work on this piece if you wanted something that goes all the way to the edges. Maybe I'll do that. I think I'm going to take it out. Oh, Liz says she has a bunch of issues with her um, pickups with her eyesight. You're sending me something, Liz? What? I never get surprises. Yeah, I'm going to be all excited now. So I'm just going to take the whole piece out. Because you know me, I'm probably going to get paint on the frame or somewhere else. But some things that I, um, oh, I should go through the rest of the kit, huh? Okay, so we've got, these are going to be different for everybody. We've got some papers here. Um, looks like I got a bunny and a bird with some roses. I'm not going to use them because I already have in my mind what I'm going to do. So I'll put those aside. And then the napkins that you have for this month, you'll get uh, two of each. So in the shadow of thy wings, I will make, will I make my refuge? So that's the Psalms verse, so two of those. Um, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So there's two of those. This one, I was going to use the different one. Um, I was actually going to use the one that is really faint. But because of this sign being hanged, being hanged. I was going to be so being hanged in the house. Um, being hung in the house. Oh, that one would be so good too. Okay, I'm on the fence now. Okay, then we have greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world. It is darker than it shows on the camera. I don't know why that shines the light. Then this is the one that we did have a little bit of hiccup with. It was printed really light. 
I am going to stick to this one because I want to show you how we can make that stand out a little bit better on the sign. But I'm probably going to make another sign with this one because I know that will sell. And that's such a cute napkin. Okay. And then the hymn this month is Sunshine on the Hill. And I'm just trying to think. I will probably still, I'm going to be using the hymn. And I'm going to be using that one that's super light. So I'm going to show you how we're going to get it to stand up. Uh, I did want to comment on this because I had someone cancel because of the quality of this napkin. And it is printed way lighter than we expected. So here's the thing when we do bold colors. Um, the printer has an issue with if we do the colors too bold, the, uh, the machine or whatever, it leaves like little drops of ink all over the napkins like both of the napkins will have like drops of ink because it's just kind of pushed so much ink through there that it ruins the rest of the napkin so they have to find a happy medium between us having a lot of color and not having drops so this one did come out lighter than i would have liked it but i think we can still make it work so i'm going to show you how uh, we're going to do that on the project today so I'm going to be using these two. And then in your little baggie, have your um, little wooden butterfly. So I'm going to use that for a magnet today. And then you have the magnet to use with it. So the whole idea is we'll make the sign and we'll make a magnet that will stick to the sign or it will stick wherever you want. Um, it's just another project. These magnets are awesome, by the way. They're like super sticky. I love me a good magnet. And then you'll get, you should get one of these butterflies. This is a mystery butterfly, so we have no idea. Um, I have no idea which one you have, but uh, I'm going to be using that today as well. And then you have your ribbon for your bow, so I'll be using that. And then you also have your Jeremiah 2911 sticker for your water bottle or your crafting room or wherever. You can even use it on your project. I've seen people use it on their projects. Uh, super cute. So what I have today, I have my glue gun, I got it plugged in. Um, obviously your paintbrush, I've got, I'm using Mod Podge today. I just saw these again, uh, Walmart has a whole four way in the barbecue section, these are 97 cents. So if you don't have one, I love using that to apply the Mod Podge. I did grab some twine for my bow and I just have some pretty acrylic white paint here, nothing special. and. I grabbed a uh, paint um, paper. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just going to push my volume all the way down. I want to be able to see who's commenting. Um, oh, so now I can see. Okay, Tara said hi from Georgia. I can't see. If it doesn't say on here, I can't see everything. So I'm going to look over here. And Nona, I see is here. This is her first time joining us for the craft night. So welcome, Nona. Um, so I have a paper plate just if I want to squirt some paint or something on it. And then I'm going to be using my Ziploc bag to help us um, smear out the words. And then because of what I'm going to be doing with this particular napkin to help us with this print, I do have some, I swear, overly priced painting tape. Uh, but you could use any type, of, any type of tape that you have. Uh, I just happened to get this the other day because I think, I think it was Yvonne said that to try and use the tape to get the napkin separated, but I'm actually going to use it for some framing on project. So we should probably start painting first so that we can have some stuff um, to, so the stuff can start drying as we go on here. So I know it's known as first time. Is there anyone else here that this is the first time joining us? Let me know in the comments. Um, Cindy says she loves the napkins. I see, I can see on my phone, Judy is watching with us as well. Um, let's see. Okay. So I'm going to use my surface saver here. Again, you guys will always hear me say how much I love the surface saver. I do. Um, because it's going to help us right now figure out where the middle of this thing is so that I can tape it. Um... I'm just going to go in here. Okay, so this number 13 right here is the middle. So I know that's the middle. And I am going to cut out the design. I'm not cutting out the design. I'm cutting the square. 
because I think I'm actually going to use it as a square. Mostly, I'm going to decoupage edge it, but I'm just going to cut out just the design for it. So I don't have all these other, I'm not dealing with the whole napkin. So we'll just cut out that part. And then I do like to save these. Oh, Tara's hair, this is her first. The Psalms verse is in one of her, it's one of her faves. She's so ha she was so happy when she saw it. Yes, and always please let me know if you have a favorite verse and we have not created it yet or we haven't done anything with it yet, would you please let me know because I have a little list over here of the verses that people have requested and I go off of that, um, including I do pray about it and I, I do uh, spend some time with the Lord figuring out which verses that we'll use or if there's a verse that's on my heart, um, I will create with that one. But I also keep track of every time people request ones because if a lot of people are requesting it, um, we definitely need to add it. Okay, so I'm just trying to get my tape off here. Okay, so I am going to tape this line here. And again, because I have the surface saver, I can just do it right here, and I know it's going to be straight. And this tape line doesn't have to be like perfect. It's just going to keep my paint in the right areas. And I really only need to tape on either side because if the paint goes off onto the mat, I'm fine. Okay, so we're using. Why did I just tape there? I'm just trying to figure out what it, I think I taped on the wrong side. Thirteen's <laughs> our middle. Oh no, thirteen's our middle. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, okay. I am going to go in on this too. Okay, so I need to put the other one right there. Basically, I'm making a frame with the paint. Hopefully, it will make sense as we move along here. And then I am going to come in on the sides because my design doesn't go all the way to the edge. Like, design is here and I want to kind of keep the paint within the design all right does that look good I see a little metal on the camera I'm gonna move it up a little bit I should have left it there you didn't know we were going to be doing a taping today did you I see Kelly has tuned in. Welcome, Kelly. Okay, so this is the area that I'm going to be working in. And I just want to make sure I have actually chopped off the top and the bottom of my design. So I'm going to back it down just, just a little bit. Oops. I just want to make sure. Okay, now I just need just a hair up here more. And this is why I chose the painter's tape because it's really easy to like rip on and take off. Masking tape would work just as easy, I would think, if you have that. If you don't have painter's tape. Okay. So I'm just eyeballing it. This design makes it easy too because if you look, there's like a little indentation here on the top and the bottom. So you can line that up. Hey, Catherine, you can line that up and so that you'll know that it's in the center because I swear half the battle is getting your design centered. So now that I'm looking at it, I am going to bring the tape in a little bit on each side. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay. So I'm not going to separate it yet. I am going to get a small paintbrush. And I'm going to decoupage edge the edge of this. And I'm going to decoupage edge around the square. So you do want to have it centered before you kind of go at this. Hey, Marianne, I see you tuned in as well. Welcome. All right, so I'm just going to take, it's just, this is just water on the edge. 
I think I picked the wrong paintbrush because it's not liking this one at all. All right, I'm switching paintbrushes. That one just kind of wanted to blob on there. Hey, Kelly. Kelly says, it's so good to see you and be here with everyone. Yes, I think we have a um, really good amount of ladies on tonight. So definitely so good. I tell you, the enemy tried to not make it happen earlier. Um, but I couldn't get any of my tech to work, but we are here. Okay, so now I'm just tearing this right along that water edge so that I get a soft edge. And I'm just going to do one side at a time. And if it goes like a little bit over or a little bit under, that's fine. I'm just going to put a little mark there so that I know when I'm painting, I'm going to leave that part open. Okay, and I'm just going to come down the other side. Now you could tear this with your fingernails as well. So that gave me a nice, like a nice good tour edge. I like how that one worked out. After I get this all um, edged, then we'll go back and just paint the square. And I think I'm gonna prime the butterfly too, because I think it will stand out better. So let me know who is crafting with me and who is just watching. I know some of you like to work alongside and some of you just like to watch for inspiration. But if you watch any of my crafting videos, then you know I'm probably gonna mess up at some point and redo something. So it might be a good idea not to follow along until I've figured out what I'm doing. All right, so we're good. Again, I'm just holding it here in the middle so I can get my edges done. Oh, I sound good. I'm not breaking up. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I don't know. I switched the, um, the sound to the, the camera above up and not the camera in front. And maybe that is what's helping. I did get a microphone. And I went to plug it in. But this is probably this is part of the problems I was having earlier. When I that's why I try to set up early because I know there's always going to be tech issues. There always is. But I uh, set up the microphone. I got it all. Everything was like good. And I go to try and figure out the microphone, and it's recognizing my microphone as headphones, so it wanted to push sound through and sort of like accept the sound. So I just said forget it, and I just kept going with it. And this ended up. Sounding to me the best. So I'm glad it's working for you all. I swear it's a battle. Facebook is changing it. So in April, we can't even stream the way I'm streaming right now. I have to learn a different way to do it where I have to pull in all these codes from different places. I need to do a practice run and I just haven't yet. Um, but that's what I need to do next. Okay, so. What we have here is it's all kind of decoupaged, decoupaged, yeah, decoupaged, torn out. I just want to make sure, basically, I I want the napkin to cover, to be overlapped, all of this, because the paint is going to go inside, and I don't want the paint to go on the outside of where the napkin is, because then it's going to be, um, it's not going to have that nice transparent edge. So the only place that there's a little bit of an issue is like right here. So there's a couple things I can do. I can move the tape a little bit to come in just a little bit more, which I think is what I'm going to do. Just so it's going to cover that spot. So that way that the only thing on the outside of the tape is napkin once I get the tape off and do all that part. Okay, so we're good there. This is what the design is going to be. I'm going to let this dry. I'm not going to uh, separate it yet. I will put it aside and wait. And then let's see, we have got um, 
Nona's just watching. Cindy's crafting along. We've got Tina just watching. Kelly's just watching tonight. Uh, Cindy's watching. It says Sherry's watching, but she didn't respond. <laughs> That's just what it says that she joined us. So welcome, Sherry. Um, okay, I'm getting the wrong thing out. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is prep the we're going to paint this white and that's going to help us i think it should help us with the lettering issues that we had we're not being able to see that design very well so i'm just going to plop some on here and just going to use a middle brush and if you joined me earlier in the week you know i had mentioned i was going to get a better brush but it didn't happen. Now I do know we're gonna have to do a couple of coats with this because I can already see that it's trying to fight us with coverage. Again, the coverage doesn't have to be like completely rock solid. It's just we're trying to help get to those letters to pop is basically the point of this. Chalk paint probably would have been better. I am all out of white chalk paint. I need to go either get some or make some. I have the rattle can spray, but I'm not doing that inside the house. <laughs> Kelly said she's gonna run do a practice run with me. I like that. I tell you, I am so excited this galvanized piece comes out. I don't know why that makes me so excited. Probably because it's easier to work on this flat surface than it is to work on it inside the frame. Okay, so I'm going to push that up and let that dry a little bit. And then I'm also going to prep my butterfly white as well. And then these are all different. So if you have like some, I mean, it's woods, so you might have some markings and that kind of stuff. So just pick whatever size that you, that you like. And you could just leave these solid too, or you can hand paint them all really pretty and crazy. I am not good at painting, like actual painting. I can I can do a coat of paint, but I'm not the best at uh, like painting a scene or adding details with paint. I did fix my table though. We bought a brand new. Um, well, it's it's been a while, but we bought a a new table, and my son accidentally put his violin case on it, and then drug the violin case to pick it up, and. It put a big old scrape on my table. And my husband was like freaking out. And I was like, I can fix it, I can fix it. So I went and got like the tiniest little paintbrush that I had. And I took some of the chalk paint wax to it, just like with in a in the fine line. And then I just rubbed buffed it out, actually fixed it. <laughs> Oh, Nona, we've got some some grandbabies here watching. Oh, Nona's got her grandbaby asleep in her lap. So sweet. And then Catherine does as well. Oh, I love the babies. Oh, sorry, I'm painting here where you can't see. I am doing the edges just because I'm not that great at painting up and down without getting it on the edges, and so it just can help it look a little cleaner for me. Plus, if you're going to hang it, you might see the edges if you're using it as a, what you call it, as a magnet. I was a little worried when I got the magnet because I'm like kind of a magnet snob. I only like really strong magnets. Don't give me a weak magnet. It just irritates me, <laughs> especially when you have kids and you're hanging up, uh, you know, kids crafts and stuff. Like I want the, neg the magnet to be able to, put, to hold some weight. Some of that stuff those kids bring home is heavy. So I'm just going around the edges here. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because this is just a base coat. And you can see in here, like, we're going to have to do a layers of that paint on that to get it so that it's not completely see-through. I 
I almost forgot to grab a, paint, a plate to put the paint on. Because you know me, if I can put it on the mat, because the mat will wash off. <laughs> I'd probably drag my arm through it and everything else. All right, that's good enough for that because I'm we are gonna decoupage. I'm gonna decoupage my I'm gonna put that up there to dry. Come back here and see what we've got here. I'm gonna go through with one uh, just one more thin coat. So just keep working that. I need to bring my husband's heat gun back in here so that I can speed it up, speed up the drying process. It gets a little bit warmer here in Arizona. I, we don't need the heat gun really. It'll just be hot in here. <laughs> but today, I had to go grab the jacket before we went on. I don't even have a fan in this room yet. I don't know if y'all noticed we changed all the rooms around. Um, glad to expand the shipping room for new girls and to have more space and we have more product coming in now. So it's taking over that entire room. I need to do uh, like a new walkthrough with you guys because it's been a while since I've done like a whole, here's where we ship, here's where everything happens. But um, we were gonna put a rack in, put an extra rack in this room, which is actually our like den. And you can see in the, back here like that's a um, one of those ikea couches that pulls out into a bed so that we have like if people come over we have a spare room for them so this desk was in the shipping room and we were going to leave it in there and put a rack in here and then i was like well that doesn't make any sense why don't we just put all the the stuff together instead of having some of it in here and some of it in there so to make room i had to move my desk out of that room into here and then we put the rack in there and has been put like, oh my gosh, like one, two, three, four, five, six. It ended up three long shelves all the way across the room, but it was six shelves total. So we built all of that last weekend to give us more space because it is crazy. Like, it's just crazy. I don't know if you guys saw that we got uh, another pallet yesterday. Was that yesterday? The days are all blending together. I think it was, yeah, Friday it was supposed to show up. We got another pallet yesterday. And so now we have all that stuff. And you guys, that stuff doesn't even fit in the house. Like the, the project-based stuff, like the cases of these, they are still have to be in the garage because we don't have room for them in the house. I'm pretty much outgrown this space, but we're just trying to figure out our options. I'm working with a real estate agent and working with a lender and just trying to figure out what the options are for expanding because we're pretty much there. <laughs> Thanks to all of you. But growth is good. There's just some, you know, a little bit of growing pains. It's okay. I'll take it. We we'll figure it out. We always do. We're also going to be um, getting a laser as well. So we want to be able to start printing our own projects that you guys can decoupage so they match up better with uh, the napkins and the design. So that's exciting. Um, Kelly agrees that weak magnets are terrible. They just make me mad. They make me so mad. And Kelly also says she would love to see the, the video. So I'll have to do that again um, where we go through. Because I haven't done one since, I think, um, like a year ago. And it's completely different now. And then she also says she saw the huge pilot and congratulations on the growth. God is good. God is good all the time. So good. Yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. It's been a journey, but definitely worth it i say that now i want to it's been it's been the journey's been like this you know how it goes <laughs> okay so with my little butterfly here because it's, it's dry first i'm going to work on it next i kind of want there's a couple ways you can do it usually when i do the hymns i will just do the music and the i'll leave the title off but i kind of like this one with the title. But what's going to happen is my color is going to cut off right here. So I think we're going to get the tape out again. I got to eyeball again where that's going to cut off. I'm going to just do a black, a little black 
cap on it. So I want to see, I think if I do it right above its head, let me put it there and see what, see what we end up. That's not going to work then. We can adjust it. All right. I'm using the tape like crazy today. Okay, so if we put it there, then I almost feel it needs to be a little higher. So I'm going to go up a little higher. I need to move all my paint in here because I still have the paint in the other room. There we go. I wanted to have like more of the work show. Uh, I do have some black in here. So that's what I'll just use. It's just black um, chalk paint is what I'm going to use for the top there. And, and just get another brush here. Put this. I'm just going to do a blob on my. This thing is like ink. I don't know if you guys saw me working with it the other day. It's so thick. Boy, see Belinda and Debbie have tuned in. Welcome, ladies. Let us know if you're just watching tonight or you're crafting with us. Okay, so I'm going to just go through and I'm just going to do the top here. And you could do any color with this. I was just, I have the black right here handy, and that's one of the colors on the napkin. Here, what the hey? I think almost everybody got their kit now. This was the first month that we were shipping them all so everybody could have them in time. I know there was a few people that just joined us, and so their kits, um, they just joined some of the open spots. So I know their kids are still shipping. I think I start, I think I shipped the last of them out yesterday, and then everyone else, um, Anyone else joins, we have a couple extra spots. So if you know some ladies that would love to craft with us, we still have a couple extra spots um, for next month. But theirs will ship um, the first. So if they sign up now, they'll get their kit um, shipped on the first, so they'll get next month. They'll start next month. Okay, I'm just checking that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. All right, so what that did is it just gave us, like, a nice line. Was the goal there? So we will. I think that's pretty. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and separate my napkin. Oh my gosh, I got lucky. It's already trying to separate at least one of the flies. I think what I'm actually gonna do, since I know I'm not using this part of the verse. I'm just going to cut it off. And then I would just save that for another project. There's a bunch of small projects you can do with the hems. Also, ladies, huh, to kind of catch you up on some small business drama, I got the napkins in for next month. Uh, one of our little teammates, Haley, she already started kidding all the kids. But I went to take pictures of the kit for next month and it pulled the hem out. I should have brought him in here to show you. I pulled the hem out and on this whole left side, it's not this hem, but on the whole left side right here, it was like the weirdest shade, shade like shade of like swamp, swamp green. I can't even explain it any other way. That's what I told him. I'm all, it looks like swamp green all down one side of the napkin. 600 of them, by the way. So I had to have poor Haley go through all, and then the ones that didn't have swap green, the words over here were all like blurry. So I had to have poor Haley go through all 600 napkins and pull out all of the ones that we can't use. And then I got to reach out, well, I already emailed the manufacturer to, or the printer to be like, hey, uh, this is a serious problem. <laughs> and I need some help. So, they are, um, 
all right, here, I'm doing the, I'm doing the tape thing. I'm tired of fighting this. So I just have two pieces of tape. We'll see if this works. Okay. In theory, I could see how maybe it works, but it did not work. I think my tape, my packing tape is too, too sticky. All right. Well, so far that just got the, the one off that we already needed. Off, so. All right. We got one layer off. Anyway, so I had to message them all panic today saying, listen, I need, like, I think we ended up with 260 some odd ones that we could use. And they're going to have to send me new ones for the other ones because they're just unusable. Like, I'm not, I'm not sending them to you. So, yeah, that was a little bit of stress today. Okay, this app just does not want to cooperate with me. I'm like so close, I can see it. There we go. I got it. Yeah, so uh, at least they have her shift counting napkins and then the other half getting the kits ready. So at least we'll, we'll be good. I don't want you to panic. We've got. A bunch of them um, ready to go on the first and they'll get them reprinted out to me but it's always scary like when that order comes in as soon as i have to open the box and look at them and see okay like are they good sometimes you'll open them and they'll be like a whole bunch of blank sometimes they'll have those splatters all over them and they're they've been really good like they've never i send pictures and stuff but they've never questioned me or been like Oh no, we can't redo that. Or they're always like, okay, we'll get it right out to you. So I know they'll take care of it, but I had a mini panic attack when I saw that. Because I thought it was the camera when I was taking the pictures, but then I looked at it more and I was all, oh no, this is uh this is on the napkin. Or this is uh this is the napkin. And then plus, you know, because you have glasses. I'm like, you know, asking everyone else, is this blurry to you or is this just me? Do I need to change my prescription? I, I'm always in doubt. Like, uh, my husband's like, oh no, those are horrible. I'm like, okay, just checking. <laughs> okay, so I've got the white, I've got the black. I'm just going to, oh, I should probably get the top where I want it. I'm debating cutting it. I will, I will do the Mod Podge or the decoupage line on it. So I'm just going to do that right across the top so I can tear that. So that will give me a soft edge. So I'm going to just try to get it a little bit more of a line then. I'm just using my fingernails. All right, there we go. See how much I want there. Looks like I did get a little aggressive with my tear over here, but I think that's okay. I'm gonna just kind of hold it there because I do have it centered. Wait, I think I have it centered. I did not have it centered. <laughs> Kelly says, thank you for the quality control. You are welcome, Kelly. All right, again, just ripping off any little extra pieces there where it got a little bit high. So you could get as tedious on this as you want. That's going to tear too low. I didn't want to tear that one. It's going to tear too low. Oh, I see Yvonne is on. Hey, Yvonne. Okay. Now I'm going to just use my little, this is a brand new one too, by the way. My uh, son stole the other one and then the girls need one for the kids. And they do the packing of the kids that have the glue then they need 
one as well. And I've got too much on here, so I'm just gonna got my extra half of that napkin over here. That is one problem. You can get a little crazy when you screw it out. So I always like to do half and half. I'll do one side and then I'll do the other side. And then I'm just going to gently feather this out with my finger. And then I'll do the other side. And usually with the gently feathering, you don't get any bubbles. Now I do gently pull back a little bit because I want to make sure that I get all the way up to where it was. On from the other side. But you do want to do it gently because you don't want to like rip it, which I have. I have done before as well. And then I'm just going to take my finger and get that excess out because I don't want that, that crazy amount. Okay, so you can see kind of what we got here. It's upside down for you, but so that's kind of what I have now. Now I'm going to go in and do the theme. So if you didn't want this, um, extra you could watermark it further i'm actually just going to leave it and i'm going to go in with my extra mod podge and make sure it's tacked down now if you don't like this edge or if i decide later i don't like the look of this i can go through again with the black and just clean it up which I might do looking at it now because I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, also, because I'm using the matte Mod Podge, which that's way too much. Um, I do want to cover all of the black with it so that it's not a different sheen than the rest of the piece when it dries, because you will see where the Mod Podge is. And then I'm just going to go in here um, and push these little things through. Sorry, I'm doing it where you can't even see. Um, because the napkin went over where those little things were. Okay, I think I'm going to let that dry. And then I'll come back and decide what I'm going to do with the top. And... We'll go ahead and I think this is good enough. Yeah, we're good to go ahead and put our napkin on here. So in the beginning, I went ahead and already decoupage edge the square so that it'll fit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my layers off here. One of the layers that's all ready to go like normal. All right, the other one, there's the other one. So I do wanna be careful because I didn't separate it when it was wet. So the edges might wanna to stick together more than they normally would. And because I'm using this piece as a whole piece, I don't want to mess up my edges because we have that, that pretty much set to be the right size square. If I were to do this again, I would separate it while it was still wet. It would be um, a little easier. It's not catching a ton, but just in case so it doesn't tear on you. Okay. 
Hey, Laura. I haven't seen you in a minute. All right, that part's giving me. If it gets frustrating, go around and work on the other side. That's the tip that I give myself. Whoops, and I just flipped my lodge pod. Fresh onto the ground. Let me grab that real quick. I'm actually going to be using a bigger brush, so I'm going to put that one in the water. You will probably need a sanding block too. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. I'll use a sanding block to do the edges on that butterfly. All right, working our way around. This is a big piece. Oh, just double checking. I had that little dark spot right there, and I thought for a second it was a hole, but it's not part of the, the ink. One poor lady did have a hole in her napkin. She emailed me. Uh, she got her napkin, and there was a, a literal hole in it. So we sent her a new one. But if that ever happens, please let me know. Okay, I'm going to go back and line this back up with my surface saver so I know where my center is this is where it's going to be important to get it centered. So like I had mentioned in the beginning, 13 should be the center. So I want to go ahead and, um, and I'm looking at 13 on the mat. You can't, oh, you can put it on the bottom now. Right. So there's this little indentation here, and there's another one at the bottom, and that's what I'm going to be lining up. And it is going to overlap the tape, so we're not worried about that just yet. Okay, so it should be right there. So I'm going to do half and half again with a bigger brush this time. Got that. And I'm going to not be crazy and put so much on there. And I'm just going right over the white in the paint lines in our little painted area there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tack it down. I'm not going all the way out to the edges yet. Because I want to pull that tape before I get it all the way. I see Christy's joined us. Welcome, Christy. All right, oops, what am I doing? I want to put it on my brush. I thought I was doing the final thing. Let me just block this thing over here. Oh, all right, that doesn't want to stay. I was going to try and get the little knobby out of the way, but it doesn't want to stay. Again. Just make sure, make sure you get all the way up underneath it. I'm going to pull back to, see, to make sure that I got all the way where the seam was. Okay. Coming in with the light feather. And not quite going out to the edges just yet. Okay, so now that I have it mainly down there, I am going to go ahead and pull the tape because I want to go ahead and get the rest of the edges down. Ooh, my tape is trying to stick to my butterfly. All right, just putting all that aside. And now I'm going to come back in here and get my edges.
Okay, and I'm just getting a little excess so that you don't have Mod Podge going too far off of the actual design. Because otherwise, you're going to see that. So if I see, like, I've got it a little far out, I'll just come in with this microfiber cloth and grab it. Okay, so I'm just going to keep working around. I don't know why my camera just went all wonky and not focusing. Hopefully I'll come back. Okay. All right, just putting in the excess, making sure I have the excess um, on that plate and not on my brush. Since this one has a lot, I'm going to come underneath it with it. And then go back over the top. I know it's hard to see on the camera, but it looks super cute. Again, this is another reason why I like using the squirt bottle because I can just control it on the brush. Okay. Okay, all in all, as far as like getting the paint and the napkin the right size, I did pretty decent. Okay, just making sure all of my extras are gone. And because it is galvanized and there's sculpture here, it is gonna give it's gonna be forgiving. Now I do see I have a bubble right in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bubble like right here. So I'm going to take my Ziploc bag and then I'm just going to press through in one direction and push all of the bubbles out. And ideally, I like to slide this off, but sometimes it doesn't like to slide. Here we go. And I do have one little cat hair in there. If you don't have cat hair in your project, that just tells me you don't have it. <laughs> Let me grab that. It's like trying to stick itself. There we go. All right. So again, when I did the, I blocked this little end here, tried to lift up. So we'll just clean that up. And it is wet. So if there are edges that you don't like, you can just rip them off like I just did that one little section there. Okay, there we go. And I know in the video it's hard to see, but you can read it now. Or before, it was a little wonky. Um, do we need this anymore? I'm trying to think. We'll go ahead and put that in the water. Oh, Kelly says she usually gets bubbles too. Yeah, I'll do pretty good, and then one will just pop up, and I'm like, and it's always right in the middle. Okay, so here's this part of this, and then we'll go ahead and go back to, you know, let that dry before I mess with it anymore. And I'm going to go back to this one, and I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to use a fingernail file on this one. Just because it's got a lot of edges and it's just easier to work with than that big old block. So just make sure when you're filing, you're going down and back. Don't go back and forth. Um, it could rip your design up a little bit, which we don't want to do.
I probably should have stuck that thing in here when it was wet too. Just push that in there. All right, there we go. And then I am gonna go in and freehand the black. I should have just cut it. Didn't I say that too when I started? I was like, I should just cut this so that it's a nice clean line. And then I didn't. But you can always just fix it. So there you can see that looks a little bit like one side and then the other. Let me just fix up this part here. So the other option, you can have the rough line like is over here or clean it up. I think it looks better clean. So if I were gonna do it again, I would just go ahead and cut the napkin so that you can line it up with a nice straight line. I thought the faded would look kind of cool, but it's not even and it doesn't look very great on the black. I think you could have got away with it if it wasn't black. There we go. I like that better. Oh, Yvonne has a good tip. Uh, Yvonne, if you're not watching her videos, she's like super professional. I am not. She says, uh, take your heat tool to get the bubbles out too. And I've heard you can do um, the iron too which I have never done yet. I have the cute little iron like right here and I haven't used it yet. So I need to do that. Okay, so I am going to, that's actually, it's, I don't really think it needs any time to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take my glue gun and stick my magnet on the back. I was just making sure it sticks on both sides. <laughs> I don't know if it doesn't, doesn't sometimes one side doesn't stick. I don't wanna mess that up. If I get the magnet on there and then like it doesn't stick to the thing. Like cause that would happen to me because that's my life. <laughs> It does have one side that has like a little um, bubble or like a little mark on it. That's the side you're going to want to stick the glue to. And I think it's so it gives it room for the glue to go to. But there we go. So we've got that on there. At least she prefers to use the iron. I probably should do that because I would probably love it and then use it all the time. But I haven't. Okay. So I'm not gonna age this. You could do different things to age it or make it look aged. Um, like I've saw, seen ones where they like a lot different colors around here so it looks like rusty. I'm not gonna do that. I am going to go ahead and put it back in the sign so I can work on my bow. Um, I am noticing with this little piece, you do need a tool to get a screwdriver to get this off. So it does come off, but you will need a screwdriver. Okay, I'm going to stick this back in there so I can figure out what I'm doing with my bow. Just going to make sure all my little tabs are back and down and all the things. A little knife again. Oh, Yvonne says the iron is a game changer. See, I need to be doing it. I knew it. I have one little side that doesn't want to go in. Y'all saw me take this out of there, so I know it goes back in. All right, I just kind of gived it, gived it, I gived it a little bend. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're back in. Okay. Linda, Linda says me too. I don't know what the me too. Maybe she uses the iron. I usually use my butter knife for all these tabs, which I do not have in here, which is probably the worst thing. Maybe we're supposed to use a screwdriver or that paint tool. I don't even know. I used to have the paint tool in here. The thing that you open the cans of paint with. 
that works really good for these little tabs. All right, I'm pulling all of, all right, I've got all the tabs back down. So we can use the magnet as part of the project or not part of the project. I need to figure out where I'm going to put my bow. So I'm going to you can also use the magnet to hide anything that you didn't like about that part. <laughs> anything that you didn't like about the edging or whatever. Um, okay, so I am going to use this to do two loops. Let's see how much, how big if I do two of these. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 inches. Fold it in half. Well, let's do 5 and a half inches. Fold it in half, and then I'm going to cut it. And then I'll do um, – oh, I shouldn't have cut it. Maybe I should have did four inches. It's all good. I wanted to have tails, but I don't have enough tap tails, so we won't have tails. But I'm going to get my double bow here. So I'm actually going to glue the end of this. Well, I'm going to get it in the center first. And I do need another. Oh, we'll have to make this work. I was going to say I need another glue stick, but I took all the glue sticks out for this glue gun in anticipation of my cordless glue gun. And I put them all back in my son's room. And so I only have the big glue stick that go to the glue gun that just showed up a little bit ago that I still have to go pick up. Next video, I will have a cordless glue, glue gun. I'm excited. All right, I'm just folding these over and just tacking them. They don't have to be perfect because I'm going to use the string and tie them. Hold on, I got to get like super crafty here. This is what you do when you are on live video and it's not working for you. I just need a little bit. Okay, there we go. I just tried to jump off the table. Ooh. Okay. So I was debating on either doing this bow or stacking them and doing. doing it the other way. I think I'm probably going to do this one. So I am leaving a tail of string because I want to, I'm going to use it to tie it at the end. But I'm just wrapping it around the front. Can't believe I took all of the glue sticks out of here. So what happens when you get excited that you're getting a new glue gun and then it doesn't show up in time. <laughs> okay, so I can fuss with this to get it how I want to get it. You will notice that we that we that I designed all of the Colors around the, the napkin or with the ribbon color. So no matter which napkin you use, it should match. The pink one, I mean, this doesn't have any pink on it, but there are other colors in the design that should match. So okay, so I could I'm not supposed to have the small part on the bottom or the big part on the bottom, but I think that works. 
So the only things that I was trying to figure out when I was doing this in my head is where to put the bow. Put my stuff away here. So we could put it up on the put it over here. Like put it up on the top here. Put it down in the project. I'm probably leaning towards sticking it up on the top there. And then I was also toying with the idea of adding the, the butterfly too. It might be too much, but that's an option. You could stick the butterfly on here. I think I'm going to pass on it. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up going right there. And decide if I want the little tails or I don't. I think I kind of like the little tails. All right, I'm going to try and stick it in, in there. My glue just does not want to go anymore. There's like a teeny, teeny bit of glue there. It's not going to hold for long. I'll have to go get my more. Uh, my other glue, my glue stick. Okay, so I think if that falls off, I'll add more glue when I get off. But I think that's what I'm going to end up with right there. And then again, this is removable, or you could just use it to stick once you hang your sign. If you need to like stick notes or whatever on here, you could stick the notes on there, photos. Um, you can give it away, use it for something else. But I just like it on there. I love that it's a magnet. So I'm gonna see my bow. My bow might fall because I'm out of glue. But this is going to be. Let me pop it up. Get it over here. Okay, it's barely steady. So this is just one option of what you can do. Again, you have all those different napkins. You have uh, all the different variations you could use. All you could. There's so many things that you can do. So I would love to see like when you guys get to it, what you guys end up doing because every time I see the crafts that you have after, I'm like, oh, I should have done that. Okay, let me see. I gotta see who I'm talking to. Okay, Cindy says it's cute in the corner. Liz says she used to do arts and crafts with these living residents. And no matter how much time she spent setting up her craft, there was always something missing. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Thank you, I appreciate that because I swear that is what happened. I remembered the plate. I mean, got the plate this time because when I went live the other day, I didn't have a plate to put my paint on and I don't even remember what I put it on. <laughs> so I'm like, I've got everything. And then, no, no, I don't. Um, Liz says she loves it. Tina says she loves it. Linda says so cute. Um, Ellie says Murphy's Law. Exactly. And she loves it too. So here's my version. When you guys get yours done, I'd love to see them in the group. Um, also know I love sharing all your crafts if you get the emails, you'll probably see some of your stuff on there. Um, also, the social media team is sharing them in the social on the main pages as well. So I'd love to see what you guys do with everything. And so then I can go in and do another one because this was super fun. I do want to do another one. Um, I'm going to be doing a live, I think, later this week. I saw one of my friends did an awesome piece that has she used a bunch of hymnals, um, hymnal paper, and I have a stash of hymnals that I have been debating on just selling them. I collected them, um, well, I started buying them for a while online. So I literally have like seven or eight or nine or 10 hymnals. And we're gonna be, I wanna be using the papers, so using the hymnals and the transfers in that bigger sign that we used last month as a project. Um, <clears throat> or I can even do this one, because the cool part about this is even if you covered this whole thing with your, either your napkin or something not too thick, you're still gonna be able to use the magnet on it. Like it's still going to, like my bow might fall off, but the magnet is still gonna stay. So you could cover the whole thing with um, the tissue and this, this magnet is so strong. It'll it'll still work as a, a galvanized metal sign that you can use the magnet for. So that's it for tonight. I wanna thank each and every one of you for joining in, for crafting with me, for uh, giving me the tips. Uh, for putting up with all my shenanigans and forgetting stuff and all the things. But um, I appreciate it. And I will get my glue gun refilled and take a picture of the finished project so you can really see it on the shelf and see 
see what I did. And then I would love to see your faces when you're all done. So our next um, event next month, the kids always start coming out on the first. So it should be like our usual um, Thursday, Saturday combination. So I think it's like the third Saturday and the second Thursday or something. So the dates will be in there. But the, uh, the bonus craft night, I have no idea what I'm doing yet, but that email will go out at the beginning of the month. So look for that. And if you're not on the email list, let me know because I know some people, I actually just found out from my email guy that there was some people that are in the group but in the club and for whatever reason, like, I mean, everybody the emails. So I know I had a couple of you reach out to me, seeing you were not getting them, and we were able to get you on, um, get you on the email list. And it should be fixed now, but I just want to make sure if you're not getting the club specific ones. So like when we do new product releases, you should be getting your special link and your twenty percent off coupon um, for those items. Which we have another new product release coming up. We have a couple. I have two new designs for the twenty by thirty decoupage sheets. If you like pens, you're gonna love both of them. Um, and then I also have a brand new uh, rub-on transfer. I did another Words of Faith volume two because that one was such a hit. We sold out, um, I think there are 17 left from the initial order. Like we sold out like so fast, faster than any other design that we've had. So, so I got the message and did a whole nother one that has black and see-through, you guys can use them and everything. So that's coming out um, early next month too. So, and then the stick and stitch transfers are up. So if you are, an embroiderer or you know an embroiderer those are up and we actually just shipped the official ones so the ones that are up now i'm actually printing in house so they're not as cute packaging as they will be when we get the official ones so the official ones actually just shipped today i got the label so they are on their way so they'll be in like nice like giftable packaging that you'll be able to um so you'll be able to gift and it looks much nicer so those are coming and let's see uh, Vaughn says she's going to get her thinking cap on. Cindy says, thank you so much for doing this. And you're welcome. I appreciate, um, again, each and every one of you. You guys inspire me. I love when you share your crafts and uh, participate in everything. But if there's something that you'd like to see in the group or like to see me do, or if you want more tutorials or me going live, I don't see tutorials. This is just fun. I don't know how to teach anything. This is just me crafting. But if you're loving it and want more, um, let me know. But I'm doing a little bit better about going live each week. So. Um, I will keep them coming and I will keep looking at things and figuring out new things for us to do and adding new projects for you to work on with me. 